I have always admired Bart Simpson's ability to use a slingshot with near surgical precision. So today on this cold winter's day, I've come to this abandoned quarry to learn how to do that. I've never shot a slingshot before. I want to learn to get accurate with that slingshot from scratch. So this is day one, hour zero. So I've bought these catapults or slingshots straight from Amazon. I got two of them just because I never knew which one would work best. And I got a bigger one that is supported by your wrist as well. Look at how many bands it's got. And in addition to that, I also got myself some ammo. But what good is a slingshot and steel shot without a target? This is my trusty installation board. I'm gonna aim for this top middle red dot. This is our first shot. Whoa, completely missed the board. Missed the board again. But maybe we were a wee bit ambitious with that target size. At least hit the board, Michael. That's it there. That wasn't actually that bad at all. More practice required. When I was 11 years old, every week I would get two pounds 50 pocket money. And me and my friend, we saved that money every week for five weeks to buy something. Two 11 year olds walk into a store, each with 12 pounds 50 in their pocket, five weeks of savings. And we were there to buy a slingshot, to buy a catapult. I have no idea what kind of person sells two unsupervised 11 year olds a deadly catapult, but we ended up getting them. Anyway, I brought the catapult home, showed my dad, and immediately he said, that is confiscated. You're never getting to play with that. That was 16 years ago, and he put it up in the garage here. And that's where it stayed for 16 years. Look, the rubber has actually eroded off the catapult. I have always wanted to learn to shoot one properly, to be accurate with one. And 16 years later, I finally bought another one. This time it's not getting confiscated. Let's get back to practicing. This is day two. A couple of things. First of all, I'm gonna to switch to this slingshot. Also, I was holding the slingshot up like this. And when I went on YouTube and watched some videos, you should be holding the slingshot like this. These are clay pigeons. These are what people shoot with shotguns instead of shooting actual pigeons. I made up this target board. This is cardboard mounted on wood with a clay pigeon stuck in the middle. And that will allow me to see if I'm going too high, too low, too left, or too right. Went straight through. That was pretty badass, right? <laughs> I really, really liked this target system. It allows me to see where I'm missing, how I'm missing. So I know that I'm consistently going too high and slightly to the left, so I can fix that with my aim. Straight in the middle. I am definitely getting better. This target board was from a distance of 50 feet, the full distance I intend to shoot from. So I'm kind of figuring out what's working for me and what's not. So here's what I know so far. Obviously you want to hold the slingshot straight. So you don't want to have it like that or like that. You want to have it completely perpendicular to the target. I put the target right there. So I'll put the middle fork right on that circle there. 
by far the most influential factor is where you put the pouch. The tiny little movement in the pouch corrects your left and right and your up and down. So that's what I'm working on. Finding exactly where I need to put this pouch on my face. And I've found right now, the best position is just to the left of the bow on my lip. So I put my thumb right there. So I think this one is all about consistency and that means practice, practice, practice. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> I'm trying to hit that bottle all the way over there with one of these. Left, right. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so it is possible. <laughs> All right, that's fantastic, but that probably took me 20 shots to get that. And the challenge for this video is to do that three times with just five shots from the same distance. <laughs> this is a block of ballistics gel. It's a, a very good representation of human flesh. So if you shoot at this, you can see how far a shot goes in, say with a gun or something like that, and that represents how much damage it would do to the human body. I've always wondered how powerful these slingshots actually are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot one right into this block of ballistics gel and see how far the shot goes into the gel. So yeah, slingshots are no joke. Imagine getting one of these taken out of the hospital. Don't mess around with slingshots. All right, today I'm going for the milestone, which is to be accurate from 50 feet away. That's to those beer bottles. Over there, there's three beer bottles on rocks. I'd like to hit all three of them within five shots at this distance. I think that's a good milestone. Let's see if we can get all three of these beer bottles. Attempt one, let's go. That's one. That was a great shot. Oh, that was just, just left. Okay. Right, here we go. Second round. That's one. Oh, just missed that. Oh, I was certain that was it. Okay, I've got two shots left and two bottles of beer left. No, I'm not even trying anymore. Here we go. Third attempt. That's one. Wow, it feels so good when you get one of these balls down. All right, we're going for the middle one. Four shots left, two balls. Oh, just right. Just right. Shot. Yes! So that's three shots, two balls. All right, two shots, one bottle left. 
can we do it? <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, now that I can comfortably hit a beer bottle, I thought it'd be interesting to see if I could hit a smaller target. One of the most common questions I get is what video editing software do you use and how did you learn to use it? <laughs> yes! And the answer is I use Adobe Premiere Pro and I learned using classes online. And one of the best places for clear, concise classes is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology and more. When I wanted to learn how to grade log footage, I wanted to remain within Adobe Premiere, where I'm familiar. Luckily, Jordi Van de Poot has an excellent class on just that on Skillshare, and following his program, I have a pretty good grasp of colour grading within Premiere now. His course is just one of thousands of professional and understandable classes on Skillshare covering a huge variety of interests. You could learn anything, perhaps a new hobby, or even skills for starting a new business. So if you want to learn something new this year, give Skillshare a go. Normally, premium membership is just 10 bucks a month, but if you sign up using the link in the description, you'll get two months of Skillshare premium for just 99 cents, and you'll help support the show. Thank you very much for watching.